Hello. I recently had a question which was, how do you quickly make an object appear or disappear in the sequencer? And I also had the question of, can you reuse level sequences in other levels? And the answer to both is, you could use the spawnable workflow. So let me demonstrate that. Uh, right now, most of these objects are spawnable in this current sequence. Uh, the couch is not. So let's bring it in. So I've selected the couch, go here, right click, I'll add it to the sequencer. Now by default, when you create objects and you add them to the sequencer, they come in as possessed objects. And what does that mean? That means that when you run the sequencer, it will take over control of those objects and any keyframes you set on the uh, the transform or the scale, or if you're using a material parameter collection, you can modify the color. But then when the sequencer is done playing, it releases control of those objects. And that's great. You also then still have access to those objects in blueprints uh, because they exist in that level. But if you want, you can also use a spawnable workflow. By default, it, this is a uh, possessed object, but any objects that you'd notice that have the little lightning bolt are spawned objects in the sequencer. And to get that, you right click, you can convert it to spawnable. And now you can see it's got the icon next to it. And also you can keyframe that visibility as well. So I, I'll quickly show this with the city here. I've set keyframes on the, on the visibility of the the city here. Now, one of the things that I want to mention in terms of setting keyframes is that you can set keyframes any the same way you would. But when you start your level, you want to, um, I've noticed that if I don't rewind to the, be the playhead, you potentially can see these spawned objects, they'll still stay spawned when you are just playing an editor. So that's just if uh, to avoid any confusion that you might have um, from that. Uh, yeah, I generally I prefer using the having objects persist in the level unless you really need to spawn them or hide them during the gameplay. So let's hit play. Um, we can run the level and there it is. It pops in just like it should. Great. So now let's, so I just hit escape and you can see right now it's not spawned in. Like none of the objects are spawned in because it's an entirely spawned sequence. But when I scrub the playhead, they all spawn in. And that's the same thing for if I created a new level. So just completely new level, go here, and go to the sequence and just drag this in. If I hit control E, can see all the objects, including the camera, which I have as a spawnable object, should have just all spawned in. That's, that's awesome and very useful, potentially. Hope that answers all the questions. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.